Hi everyone, I'm Kai. And I'm Julia. In some of my past videos, I talked about the benefits of deep breathing to help decrease pain perception, heart rate, and blood pressure. I even went through a slow, deep breathing session as a demonstration of how these techniques can be performed. Today, we want to talk about how those same techniques can be used as an intervention method or as a preventative measure to manage the development of persistent pain within family units. A systematic review research study from 2019 by Hopper et al. demonstrated the effectiveness of diaphragmatic breathing to reduce both physiological and psychological stress in adults. The authors focused on three studies which met all of the criteria for review. The first study showed improvement in the tempo of breathing, or respiratory rate, and salivary cortisol levels, which correlates to stress levels. The second study showed improvements in blood pressure, so both studies saw a reduction in physiological stress. The third study identified improvement in the stress subscale of a measure called the Depression Anxiety Stress Scales 21, or the DASS 21. This is a self-reported scale designed to measure the negative emotional states of depression, anxiety, and stress. So the participants in the study saw positive improvement and a decrease in all three of these parameters. So all three of the studies discussed implementing a diaphragmatic breathing intervention to lead to these notable improvements. Last month, Erin and I discussed the impact of kinesiophobia on family dynamics. In other words, we looked into how one's anxiety and persistent pain scenarios can drive similar experiences in one's family members. This occurs simply by being around that stress and anxiety, which can lead to physiological changes in the pain experience. So, how can deep breathing help? Because deep breathing can help reduce stress, and as Julia said, the persistent pain experience within families is often driven by an increase of stress and anxiety, then by, by decreasing those factors, we can help improve that pain experience and its effect on the family dynamics. Looking even further, a pilot study from 2020 by Russell and Geet investigated the impacts of mindfulness-based intervention for families facing pediatric persistent pain. The authors identified that not only does caring for a child with persistent pain uh, lead to significant emotional distress among parents, but that the families also reported negative family dynamics compared to families uh, without children experiencing persistent pain. As I've discussed in my previous videos, there is extensive research on the connection between poor quality family relationships and an increased risk of developing persistent pain. So it is important to consider that perception of a negative family dynamic can put other family members at risk for developing persistent pain in a household where this is present. The researchers in the pilot study had parents complete a three session parents as coping coaches a group intervention with a focus on mindfulness training. They found that parents' participation in these intervention programs actually had an impact on the parents reporting their behavior specific to their child with chronic pain uh, and to their preferred parenting style. Authors concluded that encouraging parents to modify specific training practices could allow them to respond to their children in a more helpful way. This could help protect adaptive family relationships. From this, we can gather that these interventions might improve the family dynamic and thus decrease the risk of persistent pain development in close family members. So deep breathing and mindfulness techniques are not just helpful for patients with persistent pain. These intervention strategies can also be extended to family members of those experiencing persistent pain as a means of reducing stress, improving family dynamics, and minimizing the risk of persistent pain development in close family members. All of the research used to make this video will be linked below in the captions. Comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to learn more about.